Here we are in Croydon, three and a half hours drive from Melbourne, a lovely little uh, Irish village and uh, we're here for the 22nd Croydon Irish Festival. Society tomorrow at one o'clock. So get along and um, and have a have a chat and Cheryl you'll be talking about her family history. Here's the Sing Australia. And we'll listen to them go. And they're singing the Tipperary song. That's a great effort. Look at all these flags and colours, it's a great, great event. Irish for a day, beautiful. Happy but only O'Shea, Ryan dances. Now they were our artists of the year last year and um, they do a terrific job, Geraldine and all the crew, so get around and see them today. Fantastic, all the kids. This year, Adele McDonald, she's organised this event. Look at him, we're going to just, um, yeah, what are they, yeah. there's a few, Jesus, a monster. Oh, there's Sally Morris, our Sal sponsors this event. She's our original redhead, she was the only redhead in Peroid years ago. I knew there's hope of her. on yourself. Here we go, we've got the Croydon District Primary School. It's fantastic. I was painting the stuff all yesterday when I called in. They're doing a great job. Great school down the road. Always uh, community minded. Now we've got the, the girls' Kamogi team here. What are the girls that come here from Nova for a big weekend? Well done, they're getting amongst it, so I hope they don't have a big night tonight because they've got to play at one o'clock tomorrow. But, uh, they, they love it, they, they drink hard and they play hard, they play just as hard, so have a good go tomorrow, girls. So, uh, the Croydon District Historical Society, they're not a fantastic job, that's where Shirley uh, Hardy works for Beach tomorrow at one o'clock. Um, and the girls are Get around there, that'll be very interesting. So, keep an eye on those Gary Allen ladies. They'll be out and about up the village green today, no doubt. It's a big competition. Couple of little back cards. The cord line dancers. We've got a little bit of a dosey day, or what's the game? Yeah, they're going to put on a show down there. There they go. Look at that. Going to get kindergarten. They go up to the, um, 
the kids here today and support them and do a great job the kids again. Ten dollars, ten dollars for the time today, it's all the way. Ten bucks is the best money you've ever spent for the baby sitter for the day. Just throw your kids in there and go and enjoy the music. Here's Alan the fire truck. Now the fire station is opening tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Um, so the crew have just got a new fire station and uh, they do a terrific job these blokes and they've got a dinner on tonight. Um, is it sold out, Al? Sold out. For 100, 125 years they've been going. <laughs> it's a great effort. There's only, um, as we all know, the St. Patrick's Day fires which uh, devastated around this region and these guys are out and about for days on end, so put your hands together for these guys, they've got a terrific job. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Bertie Murray has told me the other day the Division 4 won the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. No, the, uh, the Premiership. They won the Premiership this year for Division 4. They do a fantastic job. So this is the side. They got their medals here. They're very proud of what they achieved. So it's a great effort. Bowls Club, get around there tomorrow morning to call it Bowls Club for the big brekkie. And that'll be on from 8am to 12am and they have the, uh, the last laugh. So you got your best joke, put your best joke forward. Mick McGoldrick might get there and tell a few of his jokes. I don't know if they're kosher or not. Right, look at this crew up here. We've got Shard, Angel, Trishy, Jody, Gale, on horseback. Look at these. Unreal. Who's in the back there? Give them all away. Here's a nun. Sister Mary Catherine. Sister Mary Catherine. Pleased <laughs> to meet you.